Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question repeated substring pattern. So you are given string s, check if it can be constructed by taking a substring of it and uh, appending multiple copies of the substring together. So let's see the example, um, you are given ad ad. Um, uh, this is a true case because uh, it is a substring ab twice. So ab and ab. Yeah, so in this case, we should return two. And uh, let's see the example two. So strings is ABA. So output is false uh, because uh, this is not um, substring uh, pattern. So if we take a, a, so it's impossible. If we take a, like AB as a substring, uh, but the rest of uh, character is A. So yeah, it's impossible. So that's why um, output is false. And uh, example three, so ABC, 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 ABC. And uh, this is return true. It is a substring ABC four times or substrings like ABC, ABC twice. Yeah, so that's why we should return true in this case. Before I start my explanation, so let me introduce my channel. So I create a lot of videos to prepare for technical interviews. I explain all the details of all questions in the video, and you can get the code from GitHub for free. So please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Thank you for your support. Okay, so let me explain with this example, s equal ab ab. So first of all, we need to get the length of string s. So let's say n equal 4. And uh, basically, we iterate through all characters uh, one by one, and uh, we start from index 0. And uh, there are two conditions. So every time we check uh, these conditions, and the first condition is uh, length modulo i equals 0. So in, in this case, we should return to, right? So when a uh, substring is ab, so this is a uh, length of ab is 2, right? So if um, we uh, repeat ab uh, many times, so length of string should be 2, 4, 6, 8, and uh, continue. So, de so that's why uh, definitely when we get the modulo, um, we get a 0. So in this case, uh, length of string s, 4. And if we um, repeat the AB many times, we get 4. So that's why modulo should be 0. And then uh, second condition is like, a, so let's say, so S, so it, we get a, like AB from um, this program, multiply. Um, so this is a, a, like a, how can I say, repeating time. So we know that, uh, so from first condition, um, if n modulo i equals zero, so that means uh, we can definitely uh, divide the, um, like a n divide i, so and get the integer number. So in this case, um, then length of string is four. And uh, when this is a AB, so i should be two. So two, so that's why uh, from this program we get uh, two. So in this case, AB multiply two. So AB AB equal S. So AB AB. So they are exact same. In that case, we should return true. And uh, so every time, so every loop we check this condition, and then uh, if we reach the end of um, string and then um, if we don't meet uh, this condition uh, in that case we should return false so that is our basic idea to solve this question uh, with that being said let's get into the code okay so let's write the code first of all get the length of string so n equal length of s and uh, start looping for i in range and uh, start from index one to um, half of uh, string. So uh, n um, divide two plus one. 
So in the previous section, um, I said uh, we start from index zero, but uh, yeah, actually uh, we can start from index one because uh, this string um, basically uh, iterates uh, uh, repeating the substring of uh, itself. So at least um, this string has um, two characters. So that's why we can start from there. So even if um, uh, length of string is one, so this for loop um, um, is not executed, just return false in that case. And then, um, so this, uh, uh, this string is repeating a substring of itself. So we don't have to iterate through all characters, just uh, we, we can only iterate through a half of string, right? So that's why. So after that, as I explained earlier, if n modulo i equal zero and uh, um, current string i um, multiply n divide two, uh, no, i um, equal uh, input string. In that case, um, we can successfully uh, find a uh, like a repeated substring pattern. So that's why return two. If not the case, just return false, false. Yeah, so that's it. Let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n square. So this is because we iterate through um, characters from index one to n divide two. So which is a, uh, O n time and then um, in the for loop so we check the substring and uh, can be repeated uh, n uh, divide i time so which is uh, also um, O n time so that's why uh, time complexity should be order of uh, n square and the space complexity is I think uh, O one uh, this uh, this code only uses a constant space to store the input string s and the integer variable n and the user just i yeah so that's why uh, we don't use extra data structure or something so that's why uh, space complexity should be o1 and uh, actually uh, i have uh, another solution and uh, i think uh, time complexity of the next solution should be uh, order of n so which is better than this solution so let me explain how to solve this question with a uh, linear time okay so let me explain this example so string is abc abc so <laughs> this is a kind of a, like a tricky solution so first of all um, we repeat uh, this string twice so greater like abc abc and abc abc and then um, remove the first character and the last character. And then uh, check this S string uh, into this string. So we can, uh, if we can find uh, a string S, so I think uh, uh, almost the middle position, uh, we can find uh, like A, B, C, A, B, C. So that's why uh, we can return true in this case. So the reason why we remove the first character and the last character is that, so first of all, um, we just uh, repeat uh, this string twice. So if um, um, we don't remove the first character and the last character, so that means uh, definitely we can find the uh, uh, same string, the first uh, a few characters like ABC, ABC, or abc abc right so that's why uh, removing the first character last character is a very important um, so that uh, we can find the uh, uh, um, string s in the other position so in this case uh, here yeah so that is a basic idea to solve this question so with that being said let's get into the code 
Okay, so let's write the code. Um, actually, um, we can uh, we can uh, write uh, this solution um, with only like one line. So return s in s plus s and uh, remove the first character and uh, the last character. Yeah, that's it. So let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of n because uh, uh, we iterate through all characters and uh, try to find uh, like a matching solution. So that's why order of n. So for space complexity, so space complexity is also order of n. So in this uh, algorithm, so we are creating a new string that is formed by concatenating s uh, with it itself. So this creates a new string with a length of 2n. So n is our uh, length of s. And then slicing the first character and the last character. So total should be like a 2n minus 2. So and then uh, we know that we can eliminate the like a constant number 2. So that's why um, uh, overall space complexity should be order of n. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. If you like it, please subscribe the channel, hit the like button, or leave a comment. Oh, and uh, <laughs> finally, I um, got more than uh, 300 subscribers. So thank you for your support. And uh, if you don't, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, um, please subscribe. So I'll see you in the next question.